Omnicurus, India's largest online CME platform, in collaboration with, Cardiology Society of India, bringing you the accredited latest digital CME on, ECG Heart's Electrical Activity. Now there are several ECG criteria and it is often intimidating to remember all these criteria but we'll run through these criteria one by one and understand how and why these criteria have been used to distinguish between SVT and VT. The next important factor that helps us in arriving at a diagnosis in broad complex tachycardia is the QRS complex morphology and its access. Now generally, if there's an SVT with the apparency, the QRS complex morphology and the QRS axis would resemble the QRS pattern that would be seen in a patient who's in any sort of right bundle branch or left bundle branch form of aberrancy. Mahim pathways, which are the supraventricular tachycardias, maybe are associated with a left bundle branch block morphology and may have a left axis or a normal axis. It is important to keep the clinical picture in mind and it's always useful to use a stepwise approach in your approach to a patient with a broad complex rhythm in the emergency situation. For more videos, download the Omnicurus app.